I couldn't think of any fun intro. <laughs> but, welcome enthusiasts, and I have a nice surprise for you today. I'm gonna do something for the very first time for me and with you, so we both learn from the experience. Welcome to the video, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course check the description. But most importantly, have a lovely day. Let's start, because what I got here you might have seen in my previous video, this, you might not recognize this, but I didn't know at first. This is a breeding set for fruit flies. If you saw my previous video about protein and feeding, well, it's important that your fruit flies get a lot of protein. And in most cases, well, you don't want to buy every single time a lot of fruit flies. It's quite expensive and in most cases they don't want to eat all of them. So I'm going to breed them so they're the most fresh of the fresh and then I can make a follow-up video showing you guys what happens, how they grow and give you guys updates about how they're starting on Facebook. Now I'm just going to show how to set it up because, well, it's important that we both learn, right? I already started reading how to do it, but now I'm gonna open it up again, so I'm gonna show you guys what's in this kit. This kit I got from Mielburgerij, where I got all my get all my end stuff, and this is the place where I got my ends. If you don't know what Mielburgerij is, you can also check their English version, Ant Kingdom. Uh, I always use Mielburgerij because they have a point system, and since I'm a recurring customer, that's for me a lot easier, but that's not important. Most important, this lid right here has a hole with well, fencing. It's used to keep the ants in because this entire box is, uh, sorry, fruit flies. This box is for the fruit flies. And what does it contain? Well, instructions, feeding ground and nesting ground, feeding powder, and of course, oh, the fruit flies themselves. But I'm gonna give this a good read and then I'm gonna try to simplify it even more. Give me a moment, uh, enthusiasts. All right, welcome back. I just gave it a good read and we need a lot more than what I got ready. You need water. First of all, I always recommend, even though I'm now gonna tell you what to do, read the instructions carefully because it's there's nothing worse than messing it up because I now know what to do because I read it already and I'm going to read it out loud again. Well, the first step is very important. We're going to have to have everything ready. And this thing is for hot water. It's made of plastic, so I don't think we have to use boiling water because that will just melt the plastic. But it just says hot water, 50 cc. That means, if I'm correct, 50 cubic meters. Well, in milliliters, at it. So, I have, of course, my syringe. Let me go grab it. Whoop. Well, this syringe goes to five millimeters every single time. So what I'm gonna do is get some hot water, put it in a sink, and put it in here. Give me a quite some time. I'll show, uh, I'll film it, how I'm gonna do it, and then we're gonna be ready. All right, welcome back. At least I have returned. You're most likely still here. Let me just close my door because we're gonna about to experiment and we don't want to be disturbed. I didn't grab water from the sink. Instead, I put it all in my favorite little ant cup, which are used for ant water related things. It says we're gonna have to start with the food. And if I remember correctly, let me just check. So I say always read carefully because even I am not super correct. I was correct. Usually I am. We're gonna have to add this. We're gonna start by adding all the food in this uh, little bag in here. Because this is where you're gonna put everything. There we go. As you can see it's right here. And I as I said before, have my syringe. I just want to make sure that everything is out of the bag because I'm going to throw the bag away. It's of course plastic, but I've got a little basket here. 
I have my little syringe and I don't have boiling water, but at least hot water. And sad, use a spoon uh, to then stir everything. Hold, get a spoon, your parents or you yourself won't find disgusting to use again. I don't mind because I thoroughly clean all my products. So, you know, that way I don't have much of a problem. But if you don't like that, buy a separate spoon or buy a um, steering stick. You know, do chemistry, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know the word for it, but <laughs> I think you do know what I, uh, I'm talking about. I'm gonna be adding the water now, but I'm gonna, you know, I don't have to record it because you guys know how I add my water. Just give me a quiet moment. All right, I've started recording again because that means I have built my thing up. If you're correct, you have the entire bag emptied and 50 milliliters worth of water, hot water in this thing. I just grabbed a spoon because we're gonna have to stir it. And it said not too thick. I gotta make sure I get everything. Because if it's too thick, they can't eat it. Also, not too fluid. It smells like oats. So I think this is just some oat paste. All right. Keep stirring, keep stirring. It needs to be a nice paste, but not too thick. <laughs> you know, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I was gonna be doing this today. Alright, I think it's completely mixed. I think I did enough water. I hope I did not do too much. Alright. Now, let me give, uh, get a moment, because I need to grab something for my spoon. I can't just leave it like this. Alright, welcome back. I cleaned up the spoon and I actually made sure it was nice and thicker. Because if it's not thick enough, it's just more mostly fluidly. We're gonna have a problem. So, they give you this. We have to put this out in the bowl. I think this is something where the flies can sit on so they don't drown in the liquid. And you have to spread it nice and wide across it. All right, nice and wide. So just pull it a bit so it's well spread. There we go. And now that's well spread. I think, I hope it is, something like this. Let me just do it like that. There we go. Wanna be nice. It's time to start with the flies themselves. Well, I'm gonna quote as it says right here. Put them in there and immediately put on the lid. Because we don't want them to escape, do we? I don't think we do. Alright, so bear with me. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho and they're out. and they're loose. Ah, oh, we got an escape. I don't know if you can see it, but on my hand there's a little escapee, escapees, because I have multiple flies. <sighs> Make sure the lid is on nice and tight, so that they can't escape. And these escapees, well, I hope, well, I could potentially use them for my fly, for my ants. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Because then I make sure I have no flies stuck in my house. Nope. Alright. Now, oh, the set is all out here. I have them all in this little tube. And it's time to put the last step and let's put them in a hot place. Because, just like they have to think it's summer, so they're made or spring, it needs to be nice and hot. Summer, preferably 28 degrees to 30 degrees maximum. House temperature, I have no idea how they function there, but they recommend that you do it on 28 degrees. And of course, when you're done with all this, clean up your mess, because I don't think you, your loved ones, want to deal with it. So, 
I'm gonna put this somewhere in a warm place and then I'll make sure I'll keep updates how it's doing doing with the with these fruit flies on Facebook. Be sure to follow Facebook then because I'll make, just make sure when they're hatched, which is two to three weeks they say, to make a video, but up now I'll mostly make posts. Alright, I'm gonna have to end the video here. Like and subscribe, check out the website, check out Facebook, and be sure to have a lovely day. Alright, see you later enthusiasts.